In this video I'm going to show you how to work out the volume of a cuboid, first of all by counting cubes and then by developing a um, little formula. So first of all we have to understand what volume means and, and volume means the space inside a 3D shape. So your bottle of water that you get with your lunch or your pint of milk or your um, I don't know, a can of Coca-Cola, they all have a volume inside them and that space is used um, for storing things. Okay, so um, we have the volume of the water bottle might be 500 millilitres um, and sometimes that's called capacity, um, but really they're the same thing. Um, the volume of your can might be 330 millilitres. Um, that's the same as 330 centimetres cubed. Um, and your, I don't know, volume of a container box might be 10 litres, 20 litres, something like that. So all of these things have got space on the inside, um, and that's obviously a useful thing to know how much space there is. Um, Today we're just going to focus on the volume of a cuboid, and a cuboid is a box shape. So here is a really simple cuboid. Now imagine this is made from cubes, so you're not going to be able to fit anything inside it, but it still has a volume, it still has a space in the world that it is taking up, um, and we can work out that volume. The volume in maths is normally measured in centimetres cubed, but it might be metres cubed or kilometres cubed. Um, it doesn't really matter what the units are, so long as they are cubed units. And here you can see I've drawn a shape, which is a cuboid, and it's made up of lots of these little centimetre cubes. So the question is, what's the volume of this shape? Well, we can do it simply by counting the cubes, can't we? We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 centimetres cubed is the volume of that. You could do that also by doing a bit of multiplication, couldn't you? If you think, well, look, if there's only one cube, only one layer of cubes, so I could just do 5 multiplied by 3, and that will tell me how many cubes there are. 5 along and 3 across. 5 times 3 gives you 15. Now what happens if I make the cuboid twice the depth? So I'm just going to add on another layer of cubes underneath. Now remember there were 15 in this top layer, which I got by doing 5 multiplied by 3. And then there's a second layer. So with the second layer, the volume is 30 centimetres cubed. And if I had a third layer, like this, the volume would be 45 centimetres cubed, because I would have three layers of cubes. and so on, you can keep building up the layers, but what's important to notice is that it's, it's just the first layer, which was 15 cubes, multiplied by the number of layers. And if I was to draw this out, let's do the next one, just so I've got a different number to work with. So I'm going to draw out this box without the cubes. This would be the next one in the sequence. 3, 5, 4. Imagine again, what was that top layer? It was 3 times 5 to make 15. And then there are going to be 4 layers of cubes. So I have to multiply that by 4. And I get 60 centimetres cubed. 
and this gives us a little formula that we can use. The formula for the volume of a cuboid is its length times its width times its height. And it doesn't really matter which one you call the length, which one you call the width, and which one you call the height. It's down to you. What you must do is multiply, for a cuboid only, you must multiply the length and the width and the height, whichever ones you're calling them. One thing to remember is that if you've got multiple copies of the numbers on here, for example like that, do not multiply the same thing twice at the height here of 4. Uh, you don't need to multiply by this 4 as well because they're representing the same thing, the height of the cuboid. So you can ignore any multiple copies of the same one and you just need three numbers to multiply, the length, the width and the height. So let's just have a very quick look at two examples. Yeah, right, there we go. So let's call this uh, four centimeters, eight centimeters, and five centimeters. So the eight centimeters refers to that distance, 5 centimeters refers to that distance, and the 4 centimeters is the height. As I said, it doesn't matter which one you call which, we just have to make sure we're multiplying all of them together. 4 times 5 is 20, times 8, 160 centimeters cubed. Okay, and let's do this one from a different point of view. Okay, this is going to be a cuboid. It's going to be 30 centimeters by 1 meter by 50 centimeters. So just be careful with this one. There's a mistake that can be made here very easily. You could do 30 times 1 times 50 but you would get the wrong answer. Why? Well, the reason is that this is in meters and the other two are in centimeters. So you must have consistent units if you're going to use this formula. You need to turn that one meter into a hundred centimeters or you could have turned that into 0.3 and 0.5 respectively. I'm going to stick to the centimeters 30 times 100 times 50, what's that? 3 times 5 is 15. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. 150,000 centimeters cubed.